Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. It is a pleasure to talk to you both. Oh, it's a pleasure to have us in our little boat. <laughs> it is beautiful. Have you been offered tea yet? I haven't That's yet. <laughs> oh, no. Well, you won't be. <laughs> <laughs> this film has so much going for it. There's so many great moments that you draw in the past and you bring in things that are definitely from the future at the same time. What was it like for you both, like looking at the script and going, oh, this is, this is wonderful. Oh, actually, it was so, it was so nice just to know it was happening. But mm -hmm. I, I almost thought I don't care about the script. I'm just happy it's happening. As long as we're in it, yeah, as as that was amazing. Am, am I in it? Yes. Oh, I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now I can read it. That's good. Um, no, it was just a relief. It was finally happening because we'd all been waiting. Uh, the fans were, but we were too, really. So. I know, and I never really thought about how it would how it would look or how it would seem playing it. But no. just watching it, I thought, oh. Is that how that's turned out? Oh, that's rather clever, you know, yeah. but... I, we're, we're slightly in awe of Julian, actually, only be, well, no, meant largely because he's got all those characters and half a dozen new ones as right. well, and it's only a two-hour film, and he used to have months and months to play around with things. That's pretty clever. Yeah, but we're just getting all those balls in the air. Mm. You know, it's like spinning plates, you mm. know, but he, he pulled it off. Yeah. Yeah. And you all have so much time. It's wonderful to see a bit of time with everyone, which uh -huh. is a tough thing, like you're saying. The totally. fact that it's a long it's a long film to fit in some of your short films. A lot of people, yeah. yeah. And each section of the household has their own, you know, focus on whatever, you know, with, mm -hmm. in their own trials and problems to solve and mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. We've all got given these little things to do, so it's lovely. Yeah. Well, I love the fact that there's a bit of an uprising yeah. uh, in the kitchens, uh, yeah. we'll say, and the, the, the staff, basically. Yeah. Uh, is It feels tongue-in-cheek and at the same time very serious. I think it, well, I, I think that's great, actually, because yeah. there's comedy to be had, obviously, yeah. there is, and we, when we get that. But the stakes are really genuinely high, mm. and you can see that too. I mean, yeah. it's not. What's brilliant about this is that this, this story unites the entire house. He he's brought something in that it's a con common enemy, and 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 that's has huge ramifications on these people. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. The, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say yes. If it, if it got out that that we hadn't served the king and queen, we'd have been the laughing stock of the, of the whole countryside, yes. of the village and yeah, the yeah. beyond the surrounding country. And anyway, they'd feel robbed, totally robbed mm. if yeah. that didn't happen. Yeah. The Did you feel coming back to this, like, is it like a family reunion or at least like some sort of, yeah. you know, like, it's a big group of people. I know, but it was a bonded group of people and a, mm -hmm. and a group of people that enjoyed being with each other and enjoyed the job and cared about the job. There was nothing cynical about this. Nobody came to work going, another day of dancing. They really didn't. I mean, and, and so it mattered very much when it finished. And so, of course, having another opportunity to oh. come back was just bliss. Yeah. Huh? Were there favorite moments? Was there some scene that you did that you're like, oh, this is, this is the greatest thing ever? Well, I'm going to say Mr. Bakewell's shop. Oh. Yes. Because you know, I love doing anything with Sophie and, and the fact that Kevin was there too, but the best the best thing of the day was watching Mark Abbey, Mr. Bakewell, just do his thing. Because he started off the day and he was pretty good and you went, wow, he's good. <laughs> and then just as he went through, he got better and better. It was a bit like watching a, a comedic masterclass, you know. It's, and he's gorgeous and lovely. So It was so uncomfortable, but... <laughs> Whilst you you wanted to burst out laughing and hug him I at the know, same time because it matters so much to him. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, he's really clever. Oh, I liked walking away from the castle, coming out the front with door husband. with my husband. Yeah, I like doing that. Yeah, that's God. That was the really, yeah. That's yeah. a big deal. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah. And it's nice to see where people where characters have stepped into where they've reached, yeah. and the fact that there's still more beyond yeah, that. Even. For sure. Well, that's what's so clever about his writing, of course. Mm. You know, nobody stays the same, because mm. we don't, do we? We just don't. So he's developing people all the time. And I mean, the, the classic and obvious one would be Thomas, mm -hmm. who everybody used to hate. And in this film, it's deeply touching, I think, what happens mm. to him. And it matters a lot to tell that story. Mm. And Lady Mary, I mean, she's always... Oh, yeah. I know, I feel so... Just... And her and, and Violet. But she's questioning touching. whether Downton... Whether it's relevant, exist, whether it's mm. relevant, mm. you know, and you think, 
Oh, could it be that they'll sell up and turn it into a, you know, people's uh -huh. home, right. like she said, which a lot of people were thinking of doing at right. that time. But also, the thing is, I know, we vaguely know the Carnarvons who own the, the castle that right. is, is there now, and they're in a different situation, but there are similarities because they are constantly having to reinvent what they do to keep that building alive. I mm -hmm. mean, it's a big, old, expensive thing. And they should give thing. it to the National Trust. Right? Yeah, but, and they're yeah. determined and they to keep it going, and, yeah. and mm -hmm. they have to find ways that, that work today that, you know, that will make it exist. Well, we've helped in some small way. I dare <laughs> say you <laughs> have, yeah. yeah. We have. But I know she's a, she's, it's a full-time job for them. I mean, mm. full-time. They've started okay. their own gin, haven't they? Got their own gin. Marvellous. Wow. <laughs> and they take, they take all the botanicals from the garden. Wow. That's cool. I yeah. know. Well, does this now mean there has to be a second movie? I know that's very early, but well, like, you're this right, it sets is. up so much room for more. Well, the, fa the fact is, if the fans go and see it yes. in big enough numbers, that we all know that's kind of rather crucial. Mm. But are we interested, if that were the question? Well, th that's, <laughs> that's one of the main reasons why this film is now made, because of the fans clamouring yeah. for mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And, and that's one of the main pointers and the main mm -hmm. reasons for it. So if they, if they, they want a second course, course <laughs> then they should clamour some more. And get into and the get movie theatres, the yes. Because they used to watch it at, at home and that was always the worry. Oh. Are they going to actually get out of their houses and go and see it? Well... We'll see. We're, we're at the very beginning of this journey, so we'll see. But I think so far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both very much. You're Thank welcome. You. Pleasure. Thank you. Nice to meet you.